Welcome to Holly and Martin's Guide to Safely Getting to School. We know a lot of you students at home may get a school bus just like this one to get to school and that's what we're going to be talking about today. And we're joined today by Senior Road Safety Officer Ian Watson who will be answering questions on behalf of this passenger transport team. Ian. What are the rules for drivers and students on school transport and wearing face masks? It's strongly recommended that uh, pupils over the age of 11 wear a face mask. Um, obviously there are exemptions to do with age, uh, equality, uh, health issues etc, special educational needs being one. Drivers are exempt from wearing face masks unless they're on a service bus that goes to a special educational needs school or carries special educational needs pupils where the driver and any assistants uh, have to wear a mask. How many students will be allowed on each bus? Well, because social distancing doesn't apply to dedicated school routes, the buses can work at their full capacity. Uh, families will be contacted about this. Do you have any plans should schools increase the length of the school day? School transport will continue to operate the same timetable. Uh, changes will only be permitted if it doesn't affect other services or other operators. So how can students waiting for the bus stay safe? When waiting at the bus stop, students should keep their distance from other passengers and remain on the footpath. They should be mindful of the public at the bus stop and allow space for people to pass them where possible. They should also let other passengers get off the vehicle first before they try to board. They need to show their pass to the bus drivers, but don't hand it to them. If they forget their pass, they may be asked by the bus driver to give their name for test and trace purposes. And when they get on board, they must follow all the instructions from the driver, the passenger assistant, that is if there is one. No, the transport arrangements won't change. Most people with special educational needs are on dedicated services anyway. Uh, so no, there won't be any changes. On what date will parents' guardians be informed about their child's school travel arrangements? Uh, eligible mainstream students, the bus passes were issued in July. So they've already got them and they will have had information about the services. Any service update will be communicated directly to them. Thank you Ian for that. For more information, visit suffolkonboard.com